Okay, we are in the key of G today, breaking down this iconic walk down from a G major chord into an E minor chord. And you hear this sort of thing in bluegrass, country, all the time, other genres as well, because it really focuses on emphasizing these notes. And they kind of stick out above the other mix. So that's what we are working on today. We'll get right into it, but first, if you are interested in private one-on-one -on -one digital guitar lessons specifically for bluegrass music, visit the website below. Had a couple of those requested. Otherwise, let's get right into this lesson. ahead and form a G chord and this walk down actually might be the easier part of this lesson. Uh, we're going to focus on the strumming in a second but this walk down happens with our middle finger and our pointer finger. Okay so first let's just get this fingering down as we walk it down into that E minor. Should sound like this. Okay we're on the top string. Okay let me play through that five times and you play through it with me. Are you ready? Let's go. Once more. Okay. Once more. Again. And one more time. Okay, awesome. All right, so now let's focus on a bit of strumming as we're in that E minor. Okay, so if you don't learn anything else from this lesson, listen to this. One of the main focuses when we're playing bluegrass is making our strumming hand be more dynamic, okay? And, you know, this can go with any style of music, but the thing that I don't like about the up, down, strumming, guitar instruction, YouTube, everybody, is that this changes really depending on the song and how you feel inside the song. And really a lot of emotion can go through our hand. Okay, let me show you what I mean. So I'm gonna play this a couple different ways. So the first time, I'm not even going to touch that high E string, okay? Let me show you how this sounds, ready? I'm just kind of picking. No specific pattern. Okay, now let me sort of ring this out and, and put every string with it, okay? And it's a subtle difference, but there's a difference here. Listen. emotion because you can really change the way something like this sounds just by how hard you're playing. And so as you go through learning bluegrass, just know that this hand has to stay dynamic. It just changes. And if you're strumming the same way, that's boring. It sounds boring. It's boring to play. And so the idea is that we are constantly sort of picking up on these different ways that we can strum a chord, we can do an upstroke, downstroke, but a lot of it is just experimentation as well. Feeling it, seeing what works for you, okay? So let's play this through a couple times and on that E minor, every single time that we hit it, I want you to try something different. Doesn't matter what, just try something different, okay? Let's try it out. One, two, and go. Hopefully that's sort of getting you to where you need to be in terms of just understanding that there's a lot of power in this hand, okay? So let's get back to our G chord and sort of put this all together. I know it's been kind of a weird sequence here, but we've got... <laughs> 
There's also a cool little hammer-on pull-off I'm doing here. It's really giving it that sort of 3D sound I talk about so much. And that's just right here as you're playing that E minor. If you're fingering it like that, some people finger it like that, whatever feels best. Hammer on that A string right there. Hammer on and off as much as you'd like. You hear this come out a lot in these bluegrass songs, right? And again, as you get used to this walk down, we're playing it quite slow. If you're playing, you know, music, it's probably going to happen a bit faster. It might be a different tempo. It might be different timing. But the idea is that now you get this muscle memory. When you go to play that E minor, whatever it is, it's just training your muscles to, to feel for it and then your playing becomes that much better all right so guys give me some feedback i hope this helps when it comes to bluegrass it's just about trying and keeping on practicing practicing makes perfect all right so until next time adios